We have officially made it back to Canada and this country holds such a special place in our hearts because it was the first country that Chad and I visited together. And that was all the way back in 2017 when we came over to visit a friend and his family over in Toronto. But this time around, we've made it to Calgary to enjoy a winter wonderland adventure. And as how we always do, we are going to kick it off strong with a Canadian food tour. And very much like the United States, Canada is made up of immigrants from all over the world. And that has allowed them to build such a unique cuisine, but today we're gonna focus on those quintessential Canadian foods, the things you think of first when you hear the word Canada. And of course, we're just gonna have to kick it off with probably the most popular chain here in the country, Tim Hortons. Timmy's, Timmy's, Timmy's. So in order to figure out what we wanted to order, we reached out to The Bombs Away, which is another travel couple who is from Canada. Yeah. And so we have everything that they told us. We literally got it all yeah. um, right in front of us. So we have the ice cap, we have a double-double. Yeah, um, and we have no idea what this yeah. is. I actually thought it was gonna be like a sandwich or a burger, but when they brought out a drink, mm -hmm. I was like, oh. Yeah, we also have a 10-pack of assorted Timbits, which are like the donut holes mm -hmm. and a maple donut. Yes. Also, one more thing I wanted to add is that this was really affordable. I did not realize it was it was only seven U.S. dollars. Yeah. And if you were to get something similar in the U.S., it would be like 15 bucks or something. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I was also very surprised by that. So I've actually waited to have coffee today. So I like have the caffeine jitters. I'm very excited for this. The caffeine jitters that come before even having the coffee. Yeah, so I have pre-jitters and then I'll have after jitters. <laughs> A lot of jitters. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. It tastes like the bubble tea, milk tea. <laughs> wow. Doesn't it? That's not, That's really nice. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Almost like coffee ice cream. Oh, that's, that's dangerous. Let's keep going with the sugar. <laughs> Ooh. I have chosen the colorful one, the Funfetti. <laughs> I'll go with the classic. Cheers. Ooh. Mine has like fruit inside, or berries. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just before coming to Canada, we've been really into maple syrup. Like we'll oh put it on gosh. our oatmeal, on our French toast, on everything. This is really good. Yeah, I love that. It's not too sweet. Or like, if it is sweet, the flavor is just amazing. Yeah. So while we were in line, I was actually eyeing their like maple bacon sandwich. So I think I'm gonna go and order that and add this to this beautiful array of Timmy's food. Timmy's, I'm trying to pull that off, but I don't know if I can. I think that's like how the Canadians say it, but I'm just still gonna say Tim Hortons. <laughs> so excited for this. Oh yeah. That's exactly what I needed. I'm gonna wash that down with the ice cap and the double double. Hand it over, hand it over. <laughs> We've just driven about 10 minutes over to this gluten-free bakery and we're gonna go and see if they have this very special bar. It's called the Nanaimo bar and apparently Canadians love it and I really want to try it. It sounds delicious. So uh, you can eat. Okay. Uh, it's soft, but uh, maybe later. Okay. okay. We decided to come back to our Airbnb to try the Nanaimo bars just because the owner was telling us to let it sit for a little bit, let it get to room temperature, and it's gonna be even more delightful. So if you don't know what a Nanaimo bar is, it's kind of this three-layered bar with a smooth chocolate top, this delicious creamy custard middle, and then on the bottom, you've got a nice graham cracker crust. So I'm gonna open it up, it's homemade. 
It looks like a lopsided um, mm. ice cream sandwich. Extremely soft. There are little pieces of dried fruit in there that kind of remind me of coconut flakes or something along those lines. Interesting, it's not as rich. Like I thought it was gonna be extremely sweet, but it's really, it's on the lighter side, it's nice. I've never had anything like that before. So this is the first time Claire and I have ever stayed in a high rise like that. And the view is so cool. I must say it's a very different experience living like in the city than uh, where we've lived before. So something you're probably not able to tell from the video other than from our breath is that it is freezing here. I don't think I've ever experienced six degree Fahrenheit weather, but wow. Because I didn't realize how dry it also makes your skin. My skin is so dry. And even this morning when I was putting lotion on, my skin just soaked up all that moisture in like one second. I had to put another coat on. But right now we are heading over to an institution that's going to give us our savory fill just because I think we have a sugar high right now. Um, but we are going to Caesar's Steakhouse and Lounge, and this has been around since 1972. So if you didn't know, Calgary beef is very, very well known, and Alberta actually has over 5 million cattle, which means that there are more cattle here than people, and they pretty much produce almost half of Canada's supply of beef. So of course we had to add a steakhouse to our little list for today. I'm really excited to get in there, get warm, and try this famous steak. <laughs> All right, let's go, my hands are numb. We're walking up to Caesars now, and the first thing I'm noticing is the typeface on the restaurant itself. It's very cool. It's like that generic Greek typeface, and that's because this family is actually immigrants from Greece. So oh. that was like way back in the day, and I do believe it's still in the hands of the original family, so I, I think that's pretty cool. This place is super fancy. First of all, they took our coats when we came in and now they've put us in the best seat in the house. We are sitting next to the goblet, which is basically where they're cooking the steak. So we get a free show with our lunch. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Yeah, the goblet of fire. <laughs> I think I've been most excited about this right here. This is the Caesar and it's often called Canada's national cocktail. And it's kind of like the brother of the Bloody Mary. So it was invented right here in Calgary in 1969. It is a savory cocktail made with clamato juice and you're probably like what is that? Well that is tomato juice combined with clam broth and also in here you've got some spice, you've got lime, you have Worcestershire sauce. The sauce, I can't say it. <laughs> There's also hot sauce, it's got a nice salted rim, but overall it is going to probably be one of my favorite cocktails because I'm a huge fan of tomato juice. And funny thing, I've never had a Bloody Mary, so this is gonna be my first time trying a tomato-based cocktail. <laughs> Give it a stir. <laughs> Oh my goodness. One of my favorite cocktails ever. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I really like it. With our steaks, we get a complimentary soup, and today we have the onion soup, mostly because they have run out of the tomato soup, but apparently this one's even better, so we're honestly winning <laughs> right here. Claire, look. <gasps> the show has begun. I did not know how important smoked salmon is to the Canadian cuisine, but we were talking to the bombs away and they highly recommended it because smoked salmon is to the west what maple syrup and poutine is to the east. I can already tell that the salmon here is of high quality. Like it's this really bright reddish orange color. And I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on it, give it a little taste. Mm. It's got some capers. Yeah. It's got capers, some cream cheese. It's like a little boat. <laughs> as good as the smoked salmon in Finland. Oh, I just feel like smoked salmon up north is just always better. <laughs> Mm 
So we just watch them cook our steaks. They've taken them off. And we have our utensils ready here. They're warm. <laughs> the most anticipation we've had for a steak before. Yeah. <gasps> there you are. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Absolutely. Thank you. No problem, I'll be right back. Yeah, that'd be great. Yes, that'd be fantastic. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> they obviously had so many steak options. It was a very tough choice, but I decided to go with the New York strip steak and it comes with a little baked potato and then later on a server came by with some toppings and now I have some sour cream, some bacon bits and some chopped up green onion topping it. It looks absolutely beautiful and just like the whole process of watching it get cooked and then here it is on my table and toppings. It's a whole experience so I really like this place. <laughs> yeah it's fun. One thing I will say is this place does feel like I'm straight back into the 70s kind of just with all of the gold and the red leather and stuff but I got a steak sandwich. I believe it's a ribeye steak that's just literally plopped right on a piece of toast. <laughs> <laughs> It looks delicious though, and I'm very excited for that. Yeah, also look at the background behind Chad. This looks like a, a dream. movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous here. I'm gonna try the potato. Yes, try the potato. Yeah, so it's like a whipped potato, they said, on top of a baked potato. That's a good potato. <laughs> Chad's a potato lover. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We always hear people talking about how nice Canadians are, but it really is something you just have to experience in person because their kindness goes beyond just being nice. They really do make you feel like a friend or their family. And I'm honestly in a really good mood right now because of all the nice people we've come by today. <laughs> yeah, and another thing I wanted to add is that it feels like there's such an equality among the people here. Yeah. Like the servers and then all of the businessmen that were would have been in there. Yeah. I feel like they, they joke around and it's just... There's, I love the yeah. dynamic between yeah. people. <laughs> We got the goods. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna walk home with this family sized bag of ketchup chips. <laughs> never heard of it before. Mm -hmm. They didn't have all the snacks we were looking yeah. for, but they did have this. So we're gonna walk back to our Airbnb, get warm, and then <laughs> eat this. Yes, also digest some. <laughs> I think I just got my favorite photo of Claire in all of Canada. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Unnecessary. Well, we have made it back to our place and it is time to try our chips, which I've been actually very excited about. I like the taste of ketchup quite a bit. So uh, seeing these is just very interesting, but the image on the packaging is quite um, artificial looking, <laughs> I would say. They could have done a bit of a better job, but you know, maybe they don't even have to worry about the packaging because they taste so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Well, they actually do look a lot like the picture on the packaging. Yeah. <laughs> one for you, one for me. Interesting. Smells like ketchup. It does. Cheers. <laughs> Whoa. I'm a fan. It reminds me of like hash browns with ketchup. Mm-hmm. But I love the crunch. Mm. It makes me think of like the 4th of July or like a backyard barbecue. It's almost like a barbecue trip. Yeah, it's kind of like a barbecue trip. But then it takes a step back and it's like on the sweet side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally what it is. We might have to stock up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I got the family size one. <laughs> so throughout our travels, go ahead, take your chips. <laughs> Jeez. I don't like biting chips because the crumbs get everywhere, so, so you just all in one bite. <laughs> get soggy in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take that long. 
Say what you're gonna say. <laughs> so with the accommodation that we were staying at, I did not tell Claire or show Claire any photos. And yesterday when we pulled up in our rental car, I told her, all right, go get the keys and the garage door opener and I'm gonna stay with the car. And I literally opened the door to the place and it's one of those moments where the world just kind of stopped for a moment because the view here was absolutely insane and perfect. And it felt like I had just stepped into a movie, especially with how difficult the past month has been for us. And it felt like a moment where everything was perfect, there were no problems, and all I could look at was this gorgeous, gorgeous view. The last 24 hours, I've really been romanticizing my life here, you know, pretending like I am in a fairy tale or in a movie. Enchanted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. And it, it's been so great for the both of us to kind of like step out of Try the, some city life the as routine well. that yeah. we've been in for the last mm -hmm. little while. And we never really have stayed in a bigger city, yeah. especially in like a sky rise. So right. this just in our been, van. <laughs> yeah, this has been so special yeah. for us both. And there really is just nothing like watching time pass by as people run home with their little bags or <laughs> it's like a where's waldo scene yeah. right outside the window there's yeah. just so much to look at <laughs> To this fantastic house music, we are going to have some poutine. And this is kind of like the junk food of Canada. You know, the equivalent to the hamburger or the hot dog in the US. And this obviously isn't something that Canadians eat every single day, but you know, from time to time after a late night out, this might be the comfort food that's calling their name. <laughs> and basically what it is, it's some Quebec cheese curds, some potato fries, and then also some gravy all smothered together. So three very simple ingredients made into something that does get you craving it from time to time. All right, got some gravy, one fry, one cheese curd. I think the cheese curds are my favorite part because I don't eat cheese curds very often. I knew it. <laughs> I just love potatoes in all forms. So potatoes with cheese. Oh yeah. We've come to another place that beautifully shows how immigrants have made Canada a wonderful nation. And here we have some Italian gelato, but we chose out maple walnut. If you didn't know, the Canadian flag actually has a maple leaf on it, and Canada altogether produces 80% of the world's maple syrup, which is a landslide of amount. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, I didn't know it was that much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that is why it is Canada's liquid gold. And apparently between like honey and maple syrup, Canadians will always choose maple syrup because it is just so tasty here. But we're gonna try the maple syrup in ice cream, or I guess gelato form. Big. Oh, that's a good bite. With very, very full stomachs, 
We are walking back home and this is just the start of our winter wonderland adventure. So if you want to see us freeze our butts off for the rest of our time here in Canada, hit subscribe. We are heading up to Banff next and that's going to be my second time going. Chad's never been. Yeah, I've never been. <laughs> Very excited. Yeah, it's going to be a fun time. So with all that said, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!